Hey, what's going on guys? Tyler here with another Q&A for you from Stefan or Steven. I oh, hope I didn't butcher that one. Um, I usually work out barefoot. Sometimes I even run sprints outside while barefoot. What's your opinion about shoes to wear? Now I've made some uh, lengthy videos about shoes and running and the basic idea is you should wear the shoes that your feet can get the most strengthening benefit from without hurting your feet, okay? So let's say somebody's wearing big squishy Nikes all the time. If you just take them and run them barefoot outside, well, dude, they're gonna hurt their bones, their fascia, their muscles. It's all gonna hurt the next day. And it's not gonna do them any damn good, right? So how do you progress? All you gotta do is go to that next show. So simple example is this. Start at whatever cushy shoes you've been wearing and go to something like a Nike Free. Once you get comfortable exercising in a Nike Free, then go down to something more like a Merrill Trail Glove, okay? The Merrill Trail Glove has a much flatter and smaller sole that you can use, and it's gonna get you a better strengthening foot effect if you wear them during your workouts and your runs. Now, once you're comfortable with those Merrill shoes, you can move on to the Vibram Five Fingers, the five-toed shoes that are really goofy looking. You can move on to those and continue exercising and running in those shoes. And finally, after getting comfortable in the Vibram Five Fingers, you move on to barefoot. Now, be forewarned, this is not a three-month journey. You're not gonna buy a new pair of shoes each month as your feet adapt. Your feet are going to take a while to adapt, all right? so. Let's just impose a general rule here that you should take at least 10% of the length that you've not worn barefoot shoes or worked out barefoot and use that as a time it should take for you to get to barefoot. So if you're 30 years old, let's say you should take a minimum of three years to ease into barefoot training. So I just gave you five different progressions. That means you should have about seven to eight months in those Nike Freeze before you move to those Merrells, seven to eight months from those Merrells to the barefoot, and seven to eight months before you move from the barefoot shoes to actually training barefoot. Heck, that was even only two years, right? So give yourself time going from cushy shoes to barefoot shoes. But once you get there, once you're in the barefoot shoes or you're doing exercise completely barefoot, it's fantastic. It strengthens your feet. It's great for the dexterity of your feet, for those reaction that you can read from your feet that goes all the way up into your brain and tells you how to stabilize your ankles, your knees, and your hips better than if you were wearing shoes. So, I'm a huge fan of barefoot training, but use that progression and take your time because it's so important if you don't wanna get injured to take your time working into barefoot training, okay? I really hope that helps. And if you guys dig this video, like it below, share it with your friends, leave a comment, let me know what you think, or ask me any question so I can make you a video to help you look, feel, and perform your best. All right? Thanks for watching.